Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Guys, welcome back. Uh, again, we are on the online mode, and uh, I will try my best to convey you the things uh, as clear uh, as much possible for me. Hum start lete hain. आप लोगों को मैंने काफ़ी हद तक चीज़ों से फेमिलराइज करवा दिया कि हाउ टू मॉडल इन सैप स्पेशली आर सी स्ट्रक्चर्स कैसे हम डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स बीम्स कॉलम्स स्लैब्स फुटिंग्स इनको डिफाइन करते हैं कोऑर्डिनेट्स डिफाइन करते हैं असाइन कैसे करते हैं लोड्स कैसे डिफाइन करते हैं लोड्स कैसे असाइन करते हैं ग्रेविटी लोड्स प्लस लेटरल लोड्स एंड आफ्टर दैट द एनालिसिस प्रोसेस what different results can we get from analysis and then design today our topic is about uh, how to run the time history analysis okay so uh, before jumping to the time history analysis we need to follow the basic steps for example select 3d frame open frame building it's uh, simple open frame building okay uh, you can switch between different types flat plate building beam slab building parameter frame building i have uh, showed you what these different uh, uh, types are there for okay so uh, keeping the number of stories as 2 and uh, its uh, story height is 12 feet that's okay let's make it uh, two number of ways in x and two in y and uh, spacing is uh, let's take it 30 30 even okay now uh, there is no need to edit the grid spacing as it is a uniform uh, grid now coming to the definition of the uh, sections and the frame sections i will do it directly from here add new property in concrete select rectangle and uh, i will name it as a column for example okay and uh, the dimensions i will keep it as a uh, 1.5 feet in both directions i will select column over here the steel is grid 60 already selected rectangular column and the ties are there i will select number 8 bar in the longitudinal and number 3 bar in transverse okay this is my column defined and for beam i would like a copy of it and i will make it a 1 feet right i will rename it as a beam section and in the reinforcement i will select it as a beam type okay steel is grid 60 and concrete for both is as predefined grid for uh, 4000 psi concrete so i have defined both beams and columns okay now i will select here for example for the beam i would like to uh, assign the beam uh, in all the beams you can define uh, different kind of uh, se sections as i have given you different assignments uh, for different beams you can use different sections it's up to you so now i have uh, defined all the beams and all the columns for example see the column is selected as column and the beam is modeled as beam now i am left with the two things one the footing and other with the slab so let's go to the define menu section properties and area section in area section i will select as a shell add new section shell thin i will define two types of slabs number one is a roof okay it's a shell thin okay 4000 psi and uh, the thickness will be let's say it's 6 inches you can type 0.5 feet please look over here the units are keep straight okay so if you want if you are confused then just type 6 inch so it already uh, says 0.5 feet okay so for uh, roof i am taking it uh, as uh, 6 inches and uh, the second one i will define as a floor and i will give thickness of uh, 10 inch to the floor c.833 okay okay so i have defined two different types of slabs and now i will uh, go and uh, assign the sections to the 
uh, uh, slabs for example this one i assigned it as a what slab uh, as a floor so yeah right here quick draw okay here it already uh, selected as a floor so i will assign all these as a floor and then i will move to the next uh, step c at z is equal to 24 and i will again select this option quick draw area element from here i will select the roof from the drop down menu okay so these are defined as rules now i have defined all the three basic components the columns beams and slabs you can see if you fill the objects see now uh, move it to the bottom and just to check what kind of uh, footing has they uh, assigned already okay and so I have selected all the nine points assign joint sorry assign joint restraint and it's, it's already uh, the hinge supports okay so I are again check cost check it and okay now I have uh, completely defined the model the basic definition and now I am going to define the load patterns okay the dead load is already there i am adding the live load self weight multiplier is automatically zero so i will add the new load pattern okay select okay then move to the floor select the slabs okay assign okay and uh, assign i don't know what's the problem select the floor i have selected all the four spans assign area loads uniform shell okay select dead uh, i will select the units of pound feet and 125 pound per square feet okay this is the load i have assigned in the category of dead load and the, the same selection i am going to assign the load of uh, uh, 100 in the category of live load okay the same previous units add to existing and make it 100 okay so now you have assigned both dead and live see you can cross check from here okay 1.125 it's in kips so select okay and then move to the next step the roof okay select all the four panels and go to assign area roads uniform shell dead Mm, let's say I am assigning 50 and to the previous selection assign area loads uniform shell live add to existing pound fit and instead of 50 make it to let's suppose 20 okay so I have assigned dead loads and live loads to the both the slabs one is floor and other is roof and uh, I have uh, defined all the necessary sections right so now I have assigned everything uh, go to the button uh, uh, the un show undeformed shape and uh, let's uh, make it what let's see how much uh, uh, time we are left with okay good we got some time so we can continue in the same video uh, uh, about defining the time history function so uh, uh, now uh, up up till here 
we have done in almost all of our lectures right to do the basic things in addition we know how to apply the lateral loading and uh, how to analyze and design for the lateral loading as well so now instead of applying static lateral loading now we are uh, moving forward to apply a real earthquake time history analysis okay so for that you have to go to define section right and uh, in define section okay it's uh, busy at the moment in define section you select the functions see you are looking at response spectrum time history power spectral density and steady state you can simply google all of them to to see what they are okay and you can uh, read about them you can learn them you can uh, see the videos on youtube so you can use the internet to search out what these different things are uh, right now we are talking about time history okay so when i click time history uh, it shows me this window where there are different types of functions right so right now i am uh, interested in not in cosine but in a real earthquake function okay for example if you select the cosine and you say it add new function it will take you see a cosine function a cosine function always starts from here okay from positive it goes to zero and then to negative and all the way completing one cycle and here the time versus the values are plotted so i'm not interested in a cosine value and not in a sinusoidal wave but a real earthquake so i am going from file i'm selecting it from a file i'm adding a new function okay you see this window here if you click the uh, browse window it will take you uh, to somewhere uh, where you have uh, uh, yeah, saved your uh, what your sap so in my system uh, it's in uh, c drive okay and i guess it's here computers and structures yes sap 2000 version 14 and uh, here it's time history functions right go to the all files see you will see different types of earthquake records that have been provided with the sap and uh, the famous one al centro earthquake is also here but it says it is a file not a th file okay so i am looking for a time history and uh, let's select this lacc north okay and uh, i have selected it one and i have opened it okay so i will give it uh, a name of uh, l a c c zero okay and uh, i have selected the file here header lines to skip let's type 2 over here and uh, number of points per line let's type 8 here and just do not uh, touch it okay just uh, leave it as it is and uh, uh, if you want to see the graph you can display the graph see this is the time history analysis of earthquake right and uh, for the equal interval option uh, just type in uh, 0 0.02 over here okay so select okay and uh, you have defined one uh, in one direction okay let's say it's in zero now repeat the same thing add name it as uh, l a c c and 90 select the file it took me directly to the same folder okay all files lacc north 2 okay open again select uh, what i told you previously 2 over here and 8 right 
and uh, 0 0.02 in this box and show the graph so this is the graph in 90 degree select ok and here you have defined uh, the time uh, the earthquake the time history analysis uh, the time history function in both the direction for example in x direction and in y direction okay select okay and now you are uh, good with the defining the what will you say the the time history record let's see how much time are we left with okay so continuing the video uh, uh, we have defined the function now uh, going to define uh, the load cases so coming to the load cases okay uh, till now uh, you were just uh, dealing with dead load live load earthquake load but not with the model load if you remember okay so now coming to the model and select this modify and show load case okay there are basically two type of modes the eigen vectors and roots vectors for example in eigen vectors okay let me show you roots vector so the difference is over here in roots vectors you have to deal with the applied loads okay and in eigen vector you have to deal with the show advanced load parameters which are applied and the other parameters as well okay so this is the main difference between both of them in red vector you are only have to concern with the applied loads and not the other uh, things so we are coming to the simple one the red vector you can change the name uh, from here okay and uh, you can give it uh, any name uh, for example the number of modes the maximum number of modes uh, here it is 12 i want to give it 30 okay and uh, coming to here uh, the load uh, the load pattern is uh, uh, here highlighted in load type dead is highlighted in load name and i will select add okay now selecting acceleration from the load type ux okay just uh, look carefully ux is uh, uh, highlighted in the load name and i will select add okay and uh, similarly i will uh, in the acceleration i will select uy okay and i will select add okay you got it and then from the load type i will select link okay and uh, for this link i will select uh, add so i have linked all ux uy and dead okay so i have selected and i have linked all of these load cases you are uh, getting me or not okay i think the uh, the video size will be getting larger so select okay and uh, select okay we will continue from here in the next video okay thank you